Hey, so it's Bob from Better Music here with a brand new product from our friends at Roland Australia, the Boss GT1000 Guitar Effects Processor. This is the flagship multi-effects processor for Boss. Updated software, updated sounds, updated everything in there, and you'll see the look of it. You can see kind of where they're going with this market-wise. I'm really into the shape, really into the, the design of it. What I like most about it, it's so light, like it's ridiculously light. So for people that travel, um, flying, you know, interstate, internationally, a rig like this, plug in wherever you go, it's, you're going to have your sounds anywhere. It's fantastic. So I'm going to focus on three aspects, the, uh, the AIRD or the Augmented Impulse Response. Dynamics. Dynamics, thank you, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> it's still very new. The Bluetooth connectivity and the signal chain or, or the way that you, you, you look through the signal chain and work your sounds out. So I think those three aspects are the three things that most people are going to want to see with this new GT1000. So let's rip in. This is a very nice tremolo. First thing I'm going to focus on the uh, the AIRD or the AIRD. This is a unique approach to amp emulation created through through Boss. So what they've done is they've they've created their own um, their own sounds and captured the their own impulse responses and their own uh, amp dynamics and amp feel. What you get is you don't get the run of the mill amplifiers that come in all of the other big names. You don't get you know you can't look at something and go oh Marshall Stack you know I wonder what that is. So what you do is you've got these original sounds in here which for the most part are really, really cool. I'm, I'm yet to find a dud one, put it that way. So I went through and had a look at all of them and while they do sound a little bit, um, like you're like, oh, that sounds very, very close to a Marshall. That sounds very, very close to whatever. It, you'll know, as soon as you hear it, you're gonna know what you're playing. So um, I'm gonna take you through one of the settings that I, I made, I've had the unit very briefly. So one of the settings that I made was uh, here, maximum. So this is based on, I guess, prob uh, probably more so like a modded 800 or JCM 800 sort of sound. You'll hear it and it sounds pretty damn good. And then what I did to that, I should just explain quickly, I'm just gonna go in here. Um, what I've done to that is I've added in the Boss OD1X to push the front end of the stack. So what it does is it gives you this really fat... <laughs> great sort of hard rock almost sort of you know old school sort of thrash sound which is really cool and you'll be able to find sounds that you're very very familiar with in the uh in the amp section of the signal chain so if you look across here it's there's a lot going on but it's really really simple to follow so from the front end all the way through to the amplifier as such or into whatever you're running it into whether it's um uh, directly into an interface or into a pa or however you're running it so i'm going to select across to the amplifier so if i come across to here all right, you can see it's highlighted there. So in the bottom left-hand corner, you've got type. So this is on maximum. If I scroll through, they've got some cool names like Juggernaut and stuff, but there's some you know some ones that you're gonna know as well, like Deluxe Combo and things. The JC120, I think you've probably heard of that one. The Twin Combo. So so there is stuff that you know, you'll be able to grab onto. There's the stuff that is tangible for, for most people. But what they've done with their own sounds is they've created their own voices. And for the most part, they sound fantastic. The high gain ones are really cool. So I think you know the metal guys are probably gonna get a lot out of this. I'm going to start on the Bluetooth functionality now. So um, the GT1000 allows you through your phone or through an iPad, um, Android or um, iOS to be able to affect and manipulate all of your effects on the GT1000 in sort of real time, I guess. So without having to touch the unit. So right now I'm on my favorite setting, the Judas Priest setting. So if I, for example, we'll have a look at the signal chain for 
the chorus. Let's have a look at what the chorus is doing because you can't have an 80s Judas Priest sound without chorus. So if I have a look at the settings here, hold it down. So if I go into effect and you can, I'll show you what I'm looking at. If I scroll across to effect one chorus, so you'll see in the bottom of the screen it's got chorus and this chorus type and rate and all, all of the, the usual suspects are there. But in the app, it's actually really clear and really, everything's really uh, easy to use. It's right there in front of you. So I've got a little bit of rate, fair bit of depth and the effect level right up. So that gives us that sort of... So what I can do from there is I can go out of this and go into my overdrive and I can actually make it sound I can affect the overdrive and bring it in. So chorus so cool <laughs> so the ease of use of, of the app is just awesome and having used other interfaces and other other versions of bluetooth connectivity with uh, multi-effects this is a really simple one to get around so that is a great feature of the brand new gt1000 and one that i think a lot of people are going to have some fun with A bit of shimmer oh, man okay cool all right so i'm going to talk about the signal chain now and just explain a little bit about what's going on because i've sort of brushed over it briefly but what i'm going to do is looking at the screen here you can see that there's a lot of little you can see that there's a lot of little um a lot of little what do we what do we call them what do we call hoot nannies can we call them a hoot nanny icons periwinkles <laughs> Yeah, there's heaps of icons, right? You'll see them here, and some are lit up and some, are, some aren't. Obviously, the ones that are lit up are the ones that are active at the moment. So you can see that I've got a compressor on there. But if I go to the amps here, now I touched briefly on the amps before. Boss have basically ground up, built their own, uh, their own amplifier sounds into here. So like I said, there's a couple of really, really obvious ones, but, but things like Natural and Boutique and stuff are their takes and Supreme. I love this one, Juggernaut. So all of these amps are their own take on particular amplifiers. And look, they sound fantastic. So I, I encourage you to go through them all. But going through the signal chain, you'll see here that there's a parametric EQ. We've gone all the way through to chorus and then you'll see all of this madness up here. So out of the chorus, we're splitting the signal. We're splitting it. So we've got a, a direct signal going around all of these effects, but we're also coming into it and then splitting again into effects into here. And then you'll see again, let's just go crazy. Let's split it three times. So we've got all of these different effects working in conjunction with each other. You can see them all here. They're all on and they're all working in conjunction with each other and then coming back out towards the end of the signal chain there. And, and just to be crazy, they go into a phaser <laughs> and then back out into a reverb so you can see that signal chain you can get as crazy as you want with this there's three different delays on there there's up you can have up to like four or five different delays on at any time so going through the reverbs for example now i have been told I've, yep this just in yep so all of the effects um reverb modulation delays um overdrives you'll you'll see a lot of them are the the newer Roland and sorry newer boss technology I should say so the sounds from the MD 500 the RV 500 the DD 500 are all in this the OD 1x is in here the CP 1x compressor is in here the DS 1x uh, distortion is in here they're all, all of your favorites are in here so there is so much going on uh, it, it's it's crazy so you are going to find what you want in this unit for sure <laughs> All right, so something I'm going to touch on quickly with the GT1000 is the seamless patch changing. So with multi-effects in the past, um, even current 
other brands that there is a little bit of latency between the switching but between your patches so you know even even the most discerning person can hear a, a, the, the slight difference so this has the fastest switching of all of the the um, multi-effects on the market as far as i'm aware is that yep okay i'm getting the nod of a grants yes yes <laughs> okay so i'll just i'll just give you an example okay so i was mucking around playing so So it's pretty quick. Um, that is a really cool feature for people that have um, a lot of space in, you know, in, in the cleaner sort of stuff that they play, and then they have to get into that sort of raunchy, up heavier sort of music to, to go back to a cleaner sound and not have that spillover or that little uh, is a very, very good thing. So there you have it, the brand new Boss GT1000 guitar effects processor. Thank you to our friends at Roland Australia. These are going to be in the country very, very soon. So I suggest you get your back orders in. If you have any questions, you can use the usual channels. You can email us at sales at bettermusic.com.au. You can call us, you can come into the store, or you can leave your comments uh, or questions in the comments section below. Thank you so much for tuning in and uh, rock on. Yeah, it's good.